The first thing we're going to do for practice is two different value scales going from dark to light. Start with a white colored pencil on the light side and try to just blend and fade that into the darker side. So as I'm um, kind of shading with the colored pencils here, you'll notice that I'm using circles versus shading back and forth. So try to use circles. It's going to help a lot more as you're blending. Um, on top of the white, I'm going to be adding the pink and then just continuing that across onto the darker side. So that way I have the base coat of my values first and the color on top. And this is what we're going to be doing as we're getting to um, your final project is layering colors on the bottom, just using black and white and then adding the different colors on top of that. So start with the white, fade that into the black on the other side and just kind of blend it out in the middle and then choose any color you'd like to shade on the top. And then I'm gonna just kind of go back and forth over top of it a little bit more on the dark and the white side just to emphasize that value change. Um, but now I'm gonna practice that using more colors. So I'm doing the same thing, just shading with smaller circles, fading from the white into the black on the other side. So I have my base values first. And then I'm going to be fading the red into an orange and then into a yellow. So pick any three analogous colors you would like to use for this. Um, you'll notice with the colored pencils, you do have to press pretty hard and layer the colors for them to really stand out on this black paper. But when you do, using this black paper really makes the colors pop really nicely. So this is what we're going for with the two practice here for the colored pencil before moving on to um, the two texture practice that we're going to be doing last.